From the air, it appears as a stark white canvas, a desolate expanse stretching as far as the eye can see. But this is no ordinary desert, it is a saline desert, created not by a lack of rainfall but by an excess of salt. Soil salinization is a silent epidemic, but the good news is we can combat it. Our journey begins with understanding the importance of a well-structured soil. When soil becomes saline, this delicate balance is disrupted. Excess salt causes the soil to compact, squeezing out those vital air pockets and hindering water infiltration. Large machinery, like the tractors you see here, are employed to break up these compacted layers through a process called deep tilling. In areas prone to water logging, installing drainage systems is crucial. While mechanical methods address the physical structure of the soil, sometimes we need to delve deeper into the very chemistry of the earth. Gypsum or calcium sulfate works its magic by replacing the harmful sodium ions in the soil with calcium. Calcium, unlike sodium, promotes soil flocculation, a process that binds soil particles together, creating larger pores for water and air to move freely. In certain cases, sulfur or sulfuric acid may be employed. These substances work by lowering the soil pH, which in turn helps to dissolve the accumulated salts, making them easier to flush away. Nature, in its infinite wisdom, has its own arsenal of tools for combating soil salinity. Across these barren landscapes, a silent army of pioneers emerges, salt-tolerant plants. These resilient species, like the alfalfa and salt-tolerant grasses you see here, possess a remarkable ability to thrive in conditions that would cripple most other plants. These botanical heroes draw excess salts from the soil, storing them in their tissues or releasing them into the atmosphere through their leaves. Over time, this natural process gradually detoxifies the soil, paving the way for the return of more sensitive plant species. Beneath our feet lies a hidden world, teeming with billions of microscopic organisms that play a vital role in soil health. Organic matter in the form of compost, manure or cover crops acts as a feast for these beneficial microbes. As they break down this organic matter, they release nutrients, improve soil structure and even help to suppress harmful salt-tolerant pathogens. Mycorrhizal fungi form symbiotic relationships with plant roots, extending their reach into the soil and enhancing their ability to absorb water and nutrients, even in the presence of salts. By nurturing this vibrant microbial community, we create a resilient and self-sustaining ecosystem that can withstand the challenges of salinity. Water, the lifeblood of our planet, can be both a blessing and a curse when it comes to soil salinity. Controlled and efficient water management is crucial for flushing away excess salts and reclaiming affected lands. This process, known as leaching, involves applying a controlled amount of fresh water to the soil, enough to dissolve the salts and carry them away through the drainage system. But leaching is not a standalone solution. It must be implemented in conjunction with other techniques, such as improving soil structure, balancing soil chemistry, and fostering a healthy microbial community. As we've seen, the fight against soil salinization is a multifaceted one, requiring a combination of ingenuity, scientific understanding, and a deep respect for the natural world. The transformation is nothing short of remarkable. Where once salt held dominion, now life flourishes anew. Crops thrive, ecosystems rebound, and the land, once silent and barren, hums with the symphony of life. Let us work together, not just to combat soil salinization, but to restore our planet's precious soil, grain by precious grain.